So welcome to the glass studio. This is Gone Stained Glass Studio and I'm Jeannie. <laughs> and so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about a project that I'm doing today. And I want to tell you, this is how it starts. It all begins <laughs> with a tiny little sketch. And I, one of my favorite artists is Peter Max. He was popular in the 60s, 70s, I think. And uh, you should look him up because he's amazing, colorful, awesome. He's not a stained glass artist, he is a painter. But I, I get some inspiration from him and then I just make my own uh, designs from that. And uh, this kind of is one of those. So it starts with a little sketch. David puts it on the computer for me. And uh, I start kind of picking out colors, playing around. Look at this. This is um, rain glass. And since we're doing little umbrellas in the rain, I thought that was just the perfect glass to use. So I've cut out all the pieces. I just wanted the clouds to be just crazy colors. And so that's the window that we're building. So I wanted these little umbrellas. As you can see, there's this little umbrellas down there. And so David has made me um, some paper here. I have put, uh, not carbon paper, contact paper on the glass. And then we're going to glue this on here. And David's gonna show us how to do this perfect sandblasting. And that's the idea that I want. I just want to sandblast uh, some umbrellas right here. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we've shown how to sandblast and then paint. But this is just sandblast for the technique onto the glass. Yes, and David's going to show us how to do some really fun technique with this. All right, here. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm array I'm arranging to my paper pattern. I want it lined up here. So that I'm putting the umbrellas in the right place. Yeah, and as long as they're in the left hand corner, I think we're good. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of putting a fold line right here on the pattern so that I have a kind of a, a guide. So smart. So then, then I can come over here and place it right down on the glass. Cool. And it'll be in the right place. So let's see if I can get myself a little... Oh, look at that. I need to come over there. All right. Okay, so now I've got a pretty good line here. So when I come back to put it down, I'll have it. Now, what I need to do is, now this is the resist. A lot of times on a piece like this, we would put a thicker resist, but I think we'll be okay with just this one single piece of contact paper. Now, Jeannie has laid it down in such a way that it's on the front and it's also on the back. Now the back's not near as important, but you can accidentally get overspray when you're sandblasting. So we want to be careful of that. All right, so now what we want to do is glue this to this. So I'm going to get a piece of Piece of brown paper. This is spray glue. This is a. I think we got this from Walmart. <laughs> no special art store for for us. And so now let's see. We're now this is called Elmer's Craft Bond. That's just so you know what we bought. Sometimes we use uh, a 3M product. So, you know, just whatever. 
But this would happen to be the better value when we were at the store. So here we go. We're going to spray some glue. Well, it's not spraying very well, but there we go. All right. So you can't see all of it, but you can sure see some of it. So now we just let it sit a bit. If you let it dry just a little while, it'll, uh, it'll stick better or more permanent, more permanent of a stick. So now I'm ready. Let's see if I can do this. Kind of lining up my folded pieces there. Okay, now there we go. We've got our paper pattern affixed to our resist, which is stuck down on the um, on the glass. And there it is. So now we can cut our lines here. And then we're going to get into the intricate part of doing this pattern, which is taking the pieces out one after another. So I have a um, an X-Acto knife, and actually this one is pretty sharp, but David tells me that whenever you're starting a new project, it's not a bad idea to start it with a new blade. Well, I notice that every time you push down with the new blade, you get a little click and the part of the edge goes away. Break the tip? Yep. Okay, so shall I, so what am I cutting out first? There's little... Everything. Uh, you have to cut out everything because once you start blasting on it, you won't be able to see any of the lines. That's what makes this such a technical and interesting project. So we've talked about it already. What Jeannie's going to do here when she sandblasts is first she's going to sandblast away the handles of the umbrellas. And what she's doing here is she's cutting through the paper pattern and the resist. So you got all your handles done already? Uh-huh. And what I like to do when I'm done is I run my fingers over every line on the pattern so that I can make sure that uh, they're all cut. Because you can kind of feel where the cuts are. But you do that at the end after it's all done. And did you... But when you felt it, did, did it feel like you were... Yeah, I could tell I didn't do it right there.
really professional uh, sand carvers do as many as 17 blasts. Wow. Okay. We've got one light bulb in there and it's kind of handy because then Jeannie can kind of hold up her glass to, to see what's going on. You see she's got a dust mask on to protect herself from dust even though it's in a sandblast cabinet. Now what? Now you tear off the very first umbrella piece on each of the three. Well, I can see this one. That's why you uh, cut them out before you before you started blasting because you wanted it to be cut. So, because even though you can't see the line any longer, you can still find it and cut it out. Okay, found yeah. one. Okay, got two more to go. Oh dear. That's why this is the um <laughs> about here maybe. Oh, I don't know. It... I wish you get the picture. Oh yeah, you can see the line. You can see the cut line right right there. See that cut line? Okay. And you right wanna, about here? No, I think it's above the... Here? Well, you've got the picture. Yeah, I thought you went to go get the picture. Okay, looks like you got it. Okay, that's scary. Yeah. Scrub it on there. We use that thing and get it. Just pushing it down is. There you go. Did you need to do it to the others? You having fun? Sure. <laughs> all right, here, here we go. So yeah. now I just take all Unc of it off. Yeah, uncover it. All right. And we're not going to worry about the lines that, <laughs> that, I didn't, that didn't show up. <laughs> Sorry. I'm new at doing it. It's still cool. Yeah. Still cool. And look at that, how much it sh shows up, uh -huh. even though it's sandblasted on a piece of blue glass. I like that. You know, so. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see a line right there. Mm -hmm. That's about all. 
and the handles are pretty deep because they were blasted more. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely see the line right there, the yeah. last line. And I don't know if I'm imagining it or not, but it looks to me like I can <laughs> kind bit. of see a faint uh -huh. line right here. Me too, yeah. <clears throat> so, very cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Look, we almost got it in the same places. <laughs> almost, <laughs> Uh, yeah, this one, I don't know what I did weird there. Where? Where it just doesn't look like it's the handle's right, but it's okay. I like it. Uh, I know what it is. What? This uh, fourth one didn't get peeled <gasps> out, and so oh. that's, your your umbrella is... It's not full. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's fix it. Can you? Yeah. We need to put a little piece of contact paper right here. Okay. Okay, so. Just right, right on there. Yep. That one. Sure. By the way, I've uh, had the same exact problem happen to me once or twice when I was doing a a sandblaster project. Well, that makes me feel better. That's why I know what to do. So you just put that, plop that down in there. Okay. And maybe grab that other piece. Okay. And put it in the top. Because we don't want any overspray. Mm -mm. There's not going to be much chance of getting overspray on the back. All right. Okay, put it down. All right, let's take it. Okay, so now you know where, you can see how the umbrella is supposed to have a, a kind of a rounded spot or so it comes around here and it touches the bottom of the umbrella there right Ooh. see so you need to score from here to here okay. and then from up here you're going to do a roundy okay so you might want to try it with a sharpie first okay so that you can make sure that you're happy with Okay. Great. All right. And now you can cut it out. Okay. Wee hee. Okay. Okay, now go ahead and burnish it down. And now we know what to do. All right, Jean went back and re-blasted one more time so that she should have a better looking point. And let's see, look at the result of that. Wouldn't you say that's perfect, Jeannie? Yeah, I like it better. I'm glad we fixed it. Okay, and uh, we don't show this step as often as it happens. Takes 
a while. If you do it right, it takes a while and a lot of elbow grease. So it's cleaned and now it's getting polished. No, patina. Patina, oh. Yeah. So when this is done, it'll be be able to be revealed to the <laughs> viewers, huh? Ah, yes. And there it is. Umbrellas in the rain. Okay, looks good. Okay, here's one that I did. And I didn't like it. Maybe put it. Because, down. well, I'm going to turn it around here so, so you can see the blasting better from the back. And I didn't like it because I just didn't feel like the lines were deep enough. I think maybe I was having a problem with my sandblaster. See down here in this leaf, look how great that looks. So you can see how this would turn out. You blast the stem deeply first, and then you do the leaf later. And that would have been what we were doing Maybe with this. Maybe lay it down see if I can see it better. It's having a hard time. Okay. See, so how, how deep the leaf went and how deep that is? And see so these these uh, elements. These elements of the flower look great, but the rest of the flower just they all look the same. So I didn't care for that one. And let's see what's this. This one here came out a little better, but this might have been the same same kind of problem. We're looking at the blasted side, and you can really feel, I mean, feel that right there, Jeannie. Hoo -hoo, that's pretty deep. So you can feel it. Now, these were many stage blasts. Didn't I have another one over here? And look, it broke. Let's see, we had, this was like a two or three stage blast. You see, we have the leaves. You can see them. We're, we're looking at the... No, I think we're looking at... Yeah, we're looking at the back of it. And you can see this this piece of the leaf was blasted out. And then this was blasted out later. And so you can still see this. And it's got a really nice ridge in there. And that same thing happened. You see, I blasted this leaf out first heavily. And then I blasted this side of the leaf out. And this side of the leaf out. And those two were like the third blasts, or maybe they were the second blasts. And then the whole aspen tree was blasted last, I think. Yeah, that's the third blast. But then when we took it out of the P 
piece, this this piece had broke broke. So we keep it around. We had to redo it. We keep it around just just to remind us, or to show other people that we're not perfect. <laughs> Okay, well, that was fun. We enjoy doing stained glass, and this is part of it. And uh, we have a student right now who wants to do something with stained glass, and he says he, let's see, what is it? We said he's got, oh, I know it. It's a uh, Harley Davidson symbol, and we're going to have him come back. He's done with his classes, but we're going to have him come back when he gets the little piece and then we'll have him do do that on our sandblaster so he'll be able to use that to be able to put their names in it. So thanks for being with us and we'll see you next time.